I don't actually know why it's today. Just as good as any other day, I suppose. Do you know what? I actually don't know why the day is chosen specifically. The idea came from um, Nils Fromm. Nils Fromm? Nils Fromm. An old friend of mine from Germany. He wanted to celebrate the piano. Give some attention to the beautiful instrument that a piano is and to celebrate it all over the world. Why he chose the 28th of March, I have, I have no idea. I feel bad now that I don't know. Is it, uh, is it some kind of Illuminati sequence of numbers? 28th, hmm, not sure. Ah, I've, it's come to me, 88 keys on the piano. Okay. It's the 88th day of the year, there you are. Ah, oh, that's it. He contacted a bunch of friends and like-minded people and we all kind of buy into this idea and like to support it in any way we can. And so this is the second year for uh, Piano Day and already it's, it's become huge. So tonight we're going to be playing at the Courtyard Theatre. Myself, Peter Broderick and Michael Price. We're playing tonight to raise money for World Heartbeat Music Academy. So for these last two years, I personally have contributed a song on Piano Day. This year I worked with a concept that I'm developing for my next album where I work with generative algorithms to control self-playing pianos. And the song that I released for Piano Day is uh, one of the very first experiments that I do with uh, the prototype of the software. There's only so much you can take of listening to YouTube or, you know, just listening to your iPod or your iPhone or whatever. You know that the person you're watching is the person making that music. We're a group of friends and we're a group of like-minded people who, who found a place for ourselves. I feel great when I'm able to give someone that sense of comfort or maybe just a little smile on their face. I think it is a music scene, I think it's a scene, uh, but maybe more than that is a group of friends. Because this kind of music it really fosters inner reflection and um, because there's no words there to grab onto. The many expressions of um, the digitalization of how everything that we do, I think we're only starting to scratch the surface on what effect that has on people psychologically and in terms of their relationships with each other. I suspect that in today's society, with everything going on and it's so fast and we're going all around the world all the time, whether it's physically or just with you know, our phones. I think this music is a, is a safe haven. Maybe when your world speeds up, you need to slow down your art. <laughs> 